Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I had a few days worth of clips of like fun, wintry, cozy stuff. So that's what you're getting. Um, and it's also the debut of The Fringe, um, which honestly these clips make me cringe because oh, that rhymes. Anyway, um, yeah, I just didn't know how to deal with it um, at the time of filming this video. To be fair, I still don't really now, but this is just particularly tragic. But anyway, um, when I got home, I just did some work, which is rather boring. Um, and then just as quickly as I'd started that, I just packed it all away um, and decided to move on to fun stuff like that Christmas tree. That's my friend's Christmas tree. It was really adorable. But anyway, I got to cooking because on this day, <laughs> I decided that I would take it upon myself to cook so many vegetables. I wanted to roast them um and this literally was about four hours of my life of like peeling chopping roasting i really wanted to make like a honey glaze um which didn't really work out in the end because it wasn't really very honey and it wasn't really glazy either so um but yeah i i mean i saw the recipe on tiktok so of course I had to do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this should really turn into a cooking channel because look at this. I also made some chicken um, and that's what my vegetables look like. I'm actually so jealous of past me, to be honest, because it was very good. Um, and I was meant to make like roast potatoes as well, but I got really lazy. So I made couscous instead, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a long day. It was a long day. Anyway, I watched Hell's Kitchen. I think that was season 17 that I was watching. Um, best season ever, honestly. They brought back all of, like, the chaotic people. Um, so would highly recommend. Um, and then I made myself some tea in my little teapot. My friend spilt it all over my desk. Um, and I sat myself down to do some paint by numbers. I'm in my grandma era. Um, but I, I would highly recommend if you two are feeling like it's all a bit too much, go get yourself a kit because I wouldn't say it's necessarily relaxing because it turns out I can't paint within lines. Um, but it really gives you something else to focus on and complain about, even though it's self-inflicted. But anyway. Got up at a fairly reasonable time today um, and made myself some coffee as usual, my little frog mug. Um, and we're also rocking the Taylor Swift attire. Would I highly recommend this seller on Etsy. I will link them in the description box because this fleece is so cute. Um, but yeah, then I did my skincare bits and dealt with my hair as best as I could, as you can tell. It's still not great. And then we move on to the utter chaos that is making a conference poster last minute. Um, so this is for my project that I did last year. So I did mine on eating disorder psychiatry. Um, so we looked at the management of impatience with anorexia. Um, but more about that in a bit, because speaking of doing work, this video is very kindly sponsored by Lecturio. I genuinely, genuinely cannot stress this enough when I say that Lecturio is literally one of the best resources out there for medical students right now. Like, I'll tell you why. So they have so much stuff on there. Um, so I just thought I'd go through some of my favorites. The first of which are the videos. So they essentially have so many video lectures on there, which are just amazing to help you actually understand the lecture content. Because a lot of the time, like I would come out of lectures and just be like, what just happened? <laughs> Another thing that Lecturio has, which I love, is the question bank. Um, you know how much I love doing questions. Um, you can do pre-clinical questions, clinical questions for like the UK medical courses. They also have USMLE prep, which I know a lot of people are interested in. And they also use spaced repetition. And now for quite possibly my favorite thing on this platform, the concept pages. Honestly, when I tell you my jaw dropped when I saw these, I love nothing more than having everything in one place, which 
Lecturio does quite literally have everything in one place, but especially this, oh my god. So basically, when you try and search anything up, the information is scattered across like 10 different websites, and it just takes so long, and you feel like you've forgotten stuff and missed stuff. Um, so on Lecturio, if you go on the concept pages, you can go, well, for example, and it brings you to a page where you literally have everything you could want to know about MIs in one place. It has pathophysiology, diagnosis, management, complications, differentials, like everything, all of the information is on this page. And genuinely, when I tell you it took me so long to make revision notes for MIs. And again, it's just so comprehensive. They have all of like your clinical, like renal, gastro, etc., medicine, but they also have your basics, like biochem, etc. They have public health on there. They have med ethics, like so much stuff. And especially this year, a resource like this is going to be so life-saving because as it turns out, our exams this year, or one of them, is basically pathophysiology. And so having everything in one place and being able to go back through the basics and actually try and understand them, is gonna be super great. If you want to check out Lecturio, which as you can tell, I highly recommend that you do, then I will leave the link to their website in the description box and you can also use the code, which I will put on the screen. And in the, the you know, I nearly got through this. I will leave it in the description box um, and that can get you 20% off all of their plans. So their three month, one year, two year and four year plans, which is really cool. Also from December 19th to January 4th, Lecturio is running their Christmas campaign where you can get 50% off their one year plan. So yeah, thank you so much to Lecturio for working with me on this video and let's get back to it. So as you can see, I just sort of planned out the layout and just hoped for the best. Um, it is actually really cool though that we get to do this as med students, although my facial expressions may not convey that. Um, but yeah, I ended up actually going to the conference and presenting the research, which was really scary and I was not expecting to do that, um, but it was very cool and to be fair, I just hope that some of the work that I did could actually be implemented to actually improve care for patients. After finishing that ordeal, which to be fair, I'm quite impressed I managed to do it in a day. It was all very last minute and it wasn't even my fault. Um, but yeah, we move on to the next day when I once again decided that I would take it upon myself to make things um, and so I made some banana bread which I mean it uh, it was just it wasn't the best it wasn't the best you can probably tell by my face that things were starting to go wrong because I don't know what it is I thought my eggs scrambled because I actually melted the butter when I wasn't supposed to but it was too hard because I didn't take it out of the fridge early enough but anyway yeah, it was just really lumpy, but then it actually turned out to be okay when I cooked it, or baked it, rather. So, yeah, I don't know. And to be fair, it doesn't really matter, because they looked quite cute. And I actually had two because I had that many bananas. Anyway, that just about brings us to the end of this video. I know it was very weird, very all over the place, but I feel like not everything in med school is about medicine um which is not like there's no shortage of that message on my channel to be honest because i'm always procrastinating my work but i just thought it was a really cute and homely video with a little sprinkle of work in there um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you stayed till the end if you enjoyed it do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to and i will see you in my next video bye